What is up guys? It is Winter Kills here and of course, welcome back to another post commentary duel video. You guys have been asking for a little variety, so I'm trying um with uh, a little bit more DDD action. I know you guys uh, a lot of you guys are DDD fans, which is amazing along with Mermail fans. And I'm especially getting hyped up for DDDs, not just because I love the deck, but of course, as we all know, the new structure deck will be here sooner than we know it. January will come very, very soon. So I'm going to start playing DDDs a lot more. Maybe I'll even play them at locals today. Um, who knows? I mean, I'll keep you guys posted on Twitter, um, at WinterKills. Make sure you follow, at WinterKills. Plug in it. I don't care. Shameless plug. But... I'm definitely going to be trying to play DDs a lot more, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. But anyways, you see I opened up first turn, uh, just a uh, Vanity Sphine. He opens up with a Twin Twister, discarding a Blue Eyes, getting rid of my contract. No big deal. Um, and uh, I did have to waste a lot of resources to get just the Vanity Sphine on board, which is whatever. But um, as you can see, it's definitely paid off for the most part. He just had to set a Master, and... Um, Debating on whether or not he's going to use the, um, the, uh, what is it, the, um, I can't even think right now, Melody to search, but instead he's going to normal summon the Sage, go for Cat Sith, because he does main the Cat Sith, main deck out to, of course, cards like Vanity Sphines, so good spicy tech in there. If you're not trying Cat Sith in the main board, you might want to try it. If you're still playing Blue Eyes, definitely a good tech to out, help out problem cards like Vanity's Fiend or any other problem cards you just see there. He's going to Synchro into a Spirit Dragon and then Synchro into, yep, another Spirit Dragon. He'll get two free Graveyard Negations if he chooses to keep them on the board. Pretty strong field. There's Traden. And then after Traden resolves, he'll tag out for an Azure Eyes, protecting his all of his dragons he currently has. And there's a Swamp King. Banishing Thomas, and I think Genghis from Grave, yep. And I'm not too sure what I have to go into here, because I don't think it's uh, looking too good for me. And uh, I don't think, yeah, with a Graveyard Negation, and just I was not able to do anything whatsoever. You saw the Soul Charge in hand, but that wasn't going to help me either, because... There was nothing else in my grave to revive, so it would have been a little nicer to see that card early on. Uh, instead of so late like that. See, I'll opt to go first. You know, my philosophy lately has been to go first with the EDD, because yes, you lose a little bit of card advantage, but then again, it's like, do I want to have my plays go uninterrupted? And that was, for me, the one of the biggest deciding factors. Like, I want to have my plays be uninterrupted here and you see I have a pretty decent first turn opening going into Beatrice Beatrice will send um I think was it a uh I think it might be Ragnarok no it was a glow up bulb okay my mistake but another thing is I wanted to start main decking a Farfa uh because you know during my opponent's turn I would at least have some form of disruption with the Beatrice making it at least a threat instead of just sending like a Jet Synchron or a glow up bulb or uh, Necro Slime during my opponent's turn anyways, so I figured if I can find a Farfa, maybe somebody at Locals today will have a Farfa for me. Um, that would be pretty tight if that was the case. Just, yeah, Synchro into Stardust Spark, but unfortunately I do have to use the Stardust Spark to go into uh, a rank 8 with Ragnarok to go into number 38. I could have arguably left the Stardust Spark there, but yeah, it doesn't matter anyways because he's got, he's got a Kaiju. Uh... That's just kaijus being kaijus. And he is debating on whether or not he would like to get rid of the Beatrice with Blue Eyes' effect to pop. He does realize the fact that I I do play the uh, the fusion. I do play the Purple Dante. But if I do bring out Purple Dante, it's not too much of a threat to him because, well, uh, <laughs> all of his monsters can beat over. The fact that it's a 2800, I think, that can be targeted really doesn't affect the Blue Eyes player too much. Uh, just because all the Blue Eyes, of course, have better stats. And he can out it no problem. That Gamma Seal really, really did hurt, though, on top of the, uh, top of the number 38. And, uh, I don't know about spell cards in his hand, but 
Whether or not I could have stopped any was a different story if he didn't have the kaiju, but he has the kaiju regardless, so it doesn't really matter. Still debating on whether or not it's going to end up popping the Beatrice or the Contract or maybe just not pop anything at all and just go for battle phase. Graveyard is looking pretty decent, but I don't have any slimes in there, so I can't really do any fusioning. He will opt to attack into the Beatrice, but I'm going to activate its effect in chain uh, to make sure I get at least one more send to the graveyard. You know, fully abuse the, the double foolish effect that it has to offer. Send a Necro Slime, so now I'm ready to make fusion plays next turn if need be. And Purple Dante is here. Normal summons the stone, synchros for a spirit dragon. And uh, the, I can't use, unfortunately, I cannot use uh, Pilgrim's effect because you need to discard BA monsters. But if he does manage to get rid of the purple Dante, I can discard a card out of his hand, which may or may not be the best thing, uh, depending on what I knock out of his hand. Um, he does forget end phase stone here. He was quick to memorize or realize that himself. Um, so no need to say that he forgot, uh, stone because he was fully aware of it. Opted not to take it back because, you know, owned up to the mistake. Got to play it out. Um, because in a real tournament setting, uh, your opponent wouldn't probably let you and you wouldn't be able to, you know, that's your own fault. But, uh, definitely... Realizing that he did forget the, uh, the the end phase stone effect, so don't worry about it, because right now my board may seem good, but I still cannot get over. Uh, I can't get over the Azrize. He won't get to summon anything standby phase, but I still whatsoever cannot get over this Azrize, which really sucks. He does go Dragon Shrine. Adds back something off stone here, I believe. Not exactly sure what. Or maybe he already did add. I'm not quite sure. Main phase 2. Or not main phase 2. Just summoning the alternative. Um, after running over the... I was kind of confused. I'm like, how did the alternative get aboard? Running over the, uh, the Vanity's Fiend with... The Azure, then going for the alternative to get rid of the, the Purple Dante, taking a relevant card out of his hand. Now we've got a big eye. I'm able to make a comeback. So glad I was able to put the, the big eye in. Definitely coming in clutch here. Not as clutch as I thought it would. Swinging in uh, with a big eye, then going for 3k. It's an end phase stone. Ends up banishing a set mass change. Wish I would have been able to use that card at least once this game. Would have been a lot more helpful. Um, I, don't, I just don't know how I feel about mass change in the main deck right now. I'm only playing one. I don't know if I should bump up to multiple copies because I'm only playing one Dark Loss. I don't think it would make too much sense to play more than uh, than one, maybe one or two copies just to see it sooner. Because you know, playing just one Dark Law with three mass change means that I'm gonna draw into some dead mask change at some point, which obviously is something I don't want. And right now, I think he just had the top deck that he was hoping for, and that, my friends, is Return of the Dragon Lords. Going into a rank 8, and I do have an Xyz on my field, so that means Cypher Dragon is viable. It's basically like his own big eye, rank 8 big eye, basically. Never really thought about Cypher being a rank 8 big eye, but I guess it is. Going into full armor, popping his own alternative. And uh, set up pretty strong with a good field here. Can swing in with, I think, 3k. I think Cypher Dragon's the only monster that I can attack the turn that you use that effect. Uh, thankful for that, <laughs> because I would have just lost right there. Because now I think I have uh, 3,900 life points left. I think that's what my life points at. If I can remember, this was like a week ago that this was recorded. Not a week, maybe a little less. So I think I've got 3,000 life points to spare just for Soul Charge. But I kind of forget how beefy his his rank hates are showing me what he's drawn next. That crisp um, Silver's Cry. 
I have the ability to make a rank 8. The strongest rank 8 that I have, though, is a Kale Yuga, and that can't get over the effect, uh, the the 4,000 attack that full armor dragon has, so, like, I'm gonna take, you know, one or 2,000 life points. I could revive something with the Ragnarok, but, like, I could revive the Dark like I just did there and summon Kaliuga, thinking I'm cool, but I still can't get over the main issue card, which is, of course, Full Armor Dragon, which will just end up popping something next turn anyways. I could swing over the Sage, um, but that wouldn't be enough to kill him, because he still has plenty of life points. So, yeah, it's going to be GG there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video here today. If you did, be sure to, of course, leave a like, and uh, yeah. Be on the lookout for uh, more DDDs. I'm going to try definitely to get more DDDs on the channel, more test hands, more dual videos with them. Like I said, I might try to play them at locals today. I'll probably get stomped. Uh, depending on how many people there, I might play Mermel because obviously a little more competitive. Um, but I'll definitely try to get some more variety. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, leave a like if you did. And as always, Winter Kills signing out. We'll see you in the next one.